What's up, Rasmonites? Alrighty, so, we gotta talk about the fallout from TNA Turning Point and the fallout from WWE Survivor Series. So that's all coming up right now on the Razman's Reality. <laughs> Okay, so, Teenage Turning Point, nothing really big happened at the pay-per-view, but it was a great pay-per-view. Probably the greatest pure action wrestling-wise pay-per-view that I've seen in a long time. Kurt Angle and Nigel McGuinness, aka Desmond Wolf, five-star match all the way. And the same can be said for Daniels, Joe, and AJ Styles for the TNA World Heavyweight title. AJ retains the TNA title, and now it looks like they're building, because obviously since we weren't able to talk about this last week, I was able to watch another week of TNA programming in between talking about the pay-per-view. So it looks like they're building toward Daniels and AJ for a singles match. So... That should be really interesting to see where they go there. I love the fact that they brought Raven back into the fold at TNA because I think he's one of the most underrated wrestlers of all time. Not so much for skill, but the guy's promos and entertainment value are like out of this world. So I'm very excited to see him in TNA again. So along with... Um, Dr. Stevie, so this whole Abyss, Mick Foley versus Dr. Stevie and Raven thing is actually going to be pretty cool, I think. They continue to build toward Hulk Hogan. They teased him on Impact, so TNA definitely going places, and it looks like there might be somewhat of an NWO type of teaser at the very least, because they haven't mentioned Eric Bischoff by name, but Kevin Nash teased him, said that Hulk Hogan wouldn't be coming alone, Kevin Nash joins the World Elite, so maybe there'll be some kind of merge between the World Elite and NWO faction, obviously they can't call it the NWO because WWE owns the right to NWO, but it's going to be really interesting to see what they do and where they go as far as TNA right now. So TNA five star pay per view and good impact to follow up on it. WWE Survivor Series last night, no real big shockers. Everybody that won, you weren't surprised by the fact that they won, with the possible exception of Team Kofi Kingston getting the victory over Team Randy Orton in the traditional Survivor Series matchup. I wanted it to go that way, but I was absolutely shocked to actually have it go that way. I didn't think they were going to push Kofi that far. I thought it was going to be a slow build in this feud with Randy, but they already had him pin Randy clean in a match now. So, this is going to be really, really interesting to see just how far Rain Yorton is willing to push Kofi Kingston. And it's also going to be really interesting with John Cena retaining the WWE title and it's over Triple H and Shawn Michaels. I don't think they did enough last night where they're going to break up DX right now. So it's going to be really interesting who is going to be in that title picture with John Cena, with Randy Orton not being able to be in the title picture, and Kofi Kingston probably 100% focused on Randy Orton for a little bit longer. So, I don't know what they're going to do tonight on Raw. I don't know if they're going to do like a tournament style thing. It is a three hour Thanksgiving special, so it'll be really interesting to see 
what comes out of it. But yeah, good week of wrestling following, or at least the potential for a good week of wrestling, following two good pay-per-views. So, yeah, good time to be a wrestling fan right now. Well, last, we'll have to wait and see. And this is reality according to the Razman. And Razman style. It's not just a catchphrase, but a way of life.